It's a groove that has like a, a swing to it. So it's not just a simple, it's actually a English version of a twist beat. Like a twist beat is... Now the, the Mersey beat is... So Marie Ringo was swinging his ass off. He wasn't like soft. That's that's what Ringo was playing. So now you go back and you listen to some Beatle records. You hear that beat, and that's why them cats are swinging because rock and roll is based on straight eighth notes against the dotted eighth note. So like if like uh, Little Richard's playing, you know, and like so like. swing, it goes swings, and it comes back in the straight eight. So like, if, when people interpret, the reason why you got like a bar band blues thing happening sometimes where everybody's playing straight eight. So that's really stiff. You gotta have an element where somebody's shuffling against the straight eight. And that's the push and pull of rock and roll. And if you don't have that, you're not rocking. That's the roll and the rock and the roll. It's not just rock, it's rock and roll. See, without the roll, the roll is the dotted A. The rock is the straight A, right? And that's, and that's the push and pull of rock and roll. And that's the most important thing. Like, for instance, like uh, Earl Palmer, who's one of the inventors of rock and roll, with, with Little Richard playing the straight eight, and you know, Earl Palmer is playing the dotted eight. Earl Palmer's favorite drummer was Max Roach. All he wanted to do was play, you know, Max Roach. Charlie Watts' favorite drummer is like Elvin Jones. Okay. Like Mitch Mitchell, all he wanted to be was Elvin Jones. You see? So when you hear Mitch Mitchell playing, you listen to, 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 to Ringo. You know, they all, they're swing, that's a swing, that's swing. That's not, you know what I mean? That's, they're rolling and swinging and swirling and everything. That's, that is the secret weapon in rock and roll. You see, that's it. That's the session.